Okay, conflict resolution 101. The mysteries of human interaction, children. Here's one of the things that is probably harming you as we speak in your marriage today. This is a fairly common thing. Your conflicts start out on level number three, and they immediately shoot up to level eight every single time. How does that work? Well, okay, your wife walks in the door. You've spilled water on the table. Here's a level three conflict. I can't believe you spilled water on the table, you clumsy oaf. We, okay, maybe she doesn't call you clumsy oaf. Then that's a little bit too much already. So she needs to chill. She needs to chill with their words a little. Okay. I can't believe you can't just spilled water on the table. Conflict said three. You didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean to do it. You know, relax. I'm sorry. Boom. Conflict may even be over right there. If you, if you have the presence of mind to say you're sorry, you know, that could be the end of the conflict. Marriage is, the marriage is healed. Now, here's what usually happens. I can't believe you spilt water on the table. You know, and then you answer with, you know, you're always nagging me. You nagged me yesterday about the toothpaste. Today it's a table. Yesterday was a toothpaste. Okay, now it comes to the five, six. See how that happened? You brought in something else. You brought in ammunition from another fight. Then she goes, yeah, well, well, you, well you, you don't really work hard. I do all the work around here. I, I'm the one with the job, and you're just, a, you're just lazy. Uh-oh, the, the conflict is now at eight, nine. And then you go, well, you know, rah! <laughs> and you, whatever you bring up, usually that's what happens. You start bringing up all the baggage every time you fight. Every time you fight, you bring up some or all of the, of the baggage of the marriage. That's why marriage fights are usually so terrible or not successful. Or you find a way of communicating wherein you don't. You don't quarrel. You avoid each other and you avoid topics that are going to lead to fights. That's better. Honestly, that's a much better way to be married than fighting, have your fight shoot up to 11 all the time. But that's still not very healthy. You know, real conflict resolution is you, you, you resolve the conflict. You keep the conflict within the confines of what it is. Now, if it's something really, really, really stressful, say your child is on drugs, that's a really stressful situation, no matter how you slice it. So conflict resolution, all your conflict resolution skills can be brought to bear and it can still shoot up to 11. That's just human, that's just human interactions, 101. That's just something you need to know. This is, a, for example, if you are a wise and a uh, well-grounded human being and you have a good handle on your emotions, even if you are that, there are still some things that are so hard for you, that are so hard to get a handle on because they are so emotional that you're going to be even bad at those. That needs to be accepted. That needs to be accepted. The quicker you accept that, the better off you will be. For example, okay, my dad wasn't a particularly good at handling his emotions. Matter of fact, he was famously terrible at it. Famously terrible. Wasn't very good at, you know, processing emotions. Why he was, he would get angry really easily a lot. Now, my dad got cancer. That is a very, 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 very stressful thing to befall anyone. Anyone. You could be, you know, Mr. I don't even know who Mr. I handle things as, as well as anybody in the world. You get something like cancer falls on your doorstep, that's going to be really hard for you to handle in absolutely the best of circumstances. And if you're bringing religion to bear, you know, just so you know, just so we connect this to Christianity, Christianity used correctly and used wisely, prayer and faith in God can actually really, 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 really deeply help you process your emotions correctly so that they don't get the better of you. Wrap your brain around what I just said. I promise you that's the truth. Christianity, strong faith, prayer in general can really, 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 honest to God, help you process your emotions correctly so that they don't get the better of you. At its most useful, that's what it does well. At its most useful, that's what faith does well gives you some firm, firm rock to stand on. So when your kid has drugs, you don't fall apart. You don't. 
because you have faith in God, and that translates to faith in life in general, so that the kid, the kid on drugs isn't going to end with him, you know, in a crack den. It's going to end with him growing out of it 10 years down the line. Now, granted, most people who call, consider themselves religious or consider themselves people of faith or Christian don't have that type of faith. They don't. They don't even have close to that type of faith. But that's the real thing. That's the type of faith that can weather the storm. That's the type of faith that can see you through the dark night. That's the type of faith where you have a strong faith in God and hence life itself. So you can handle something that is really, really stressful and really, really hard to handle with more strength, more wisdom, more enduring power. You can be more resolute. That's what real faith is. You don't see a lot of it out there. You know, look for a sermon on that today in any of the preachers you see on TV, and I guarantee you ain't going to find it, <laughs> or you're going to look very hard for it. But that's the real thing. And I sort of changed the subject from what, how I started, but, you know, fuck it. <laughs> I changed the subject a little. It's a powerful lesson in there, kids. A powerful lesson in there. Powerful lesson about controlling your emotions. If you want to be an effective person in a difficult and stressful situation, you need to learn how to control your emotions. Faith can help you do that. Prayer can help you do that. When your emotions get the better of you, situations that, that are not in and of themselves very dangerous can turn dangerous, boom, just like that. Just like that. And when you can't control your emotions, situations that are actually very stressful and potentially really dangerous, like your child on drugs, can destroy you. Can destroy you. Can wreak havoc on your complete life. Just word to the wise. That's all. Word to the wise. That is all.